Hello there, I'm Andy Jones and welcome back to Get Modern. This is uh, part of our uh, Intune video handbook series and today we're going to cover the ad required applications part. Um, it's quite a large topic this, uh, so we won't be able to go over all, all the options available. Uh, but you will notice I've not labelled it as optional, um, even though you can stand up your return and, uh, and be up and running uh, without actually adding applications. Um, the reason for that really is you will need to or you're most likely to uh, want to deploy applications at some point so it's quite an essential step. Um, let me go into uh, firstly into the Microsoft uh, website. I'll add the, uh, the link to this in the details but there's a wealth of information on here really to kind of help you do some planning um, around what apps you might need, the type of apps you might need uh, where uh, and some more details around that and just considerations of that type um, so obviously it steps through the app types from the Intune uh, you've got the store uh, store apps, you've got line of business apps, built in apps uh, web links for example and then that gets broken down into the different types of, of device type so you've got Microsoft store apps, Android enterprise apps um, for example um, and then you've got you know built-in iOS apps for example so um, there's, there's different stores available to kind of source your applications before you can make them available uh, within within Intune so you're going to need to assess your requirements um, determine who will be using the applications and also the type of applications for your solution but also uh, understand the app management protection policies and also associate licenses so uh, I'm not going to go through the detail of that, have a read through it yourself, um, see how it applies to you. Okay. Um, with that, let's go into the uh, Endpoint Manager Admin Center. So you'll find apps, uh, if you select the Apps uh, menu option, you can select all apps and that will give you all the available applications that you've imported, available for deployment to your devices. Uh, as you can see, I've got Windows app, a Win32 app there. Uh, I've got a Google Play Store managed app there um, and then um, just you know Microsoft Store for Business app so they're spread across all the different device types um, you'll also notice that it shows you whether it's assigned or not so whether you've actually assigned any any groups uh, to those applications for deployment um, when you want to monitor those if you select on monitor you'll get there's a number of options here so you can look at the licenses used you can look at the uh, devices that they've been deployed to and the version of those apps under discovered apps uh, and you can also look at the you know install status of those applications so um, get familiar with that that's quite a, an important place um, it's fairly fairly new within Intune so uh, I think that will become more and more important okay so if we step back into apps then we hit the a specific platform. Let's go for Android. You'll see I've got some already. Um, now, um, what I'm going to do is uh, click the add here and I'm going to choose uh, manage Google Play Store. Um, hit select and it will come up with the options. Um, so this is linked into the Google Play Store and what I want to do is uh, select an, uh, an application that I want to import uh, to allow me to deploy. So this is one I don't think I have, so let's hit the drop box. I can hit approve, approve again, and then eventually the last option it will give me um, to keep approved when app requests new permissions, so I hit done there. Now, um, if I hit the sync button, that will go ahead and sync that selection into my list. Um, it won't necessarily appear um, straight away. I can hit the re refresh. Uh, in this case, it has. Okay, so I've got Dropbox now. That app is now in the Intune uh, Endpoint Manager Admin Center. It's not assigned. If I select that application, I can hit the properties, select properties and then hit uh, assignments. Um, the difference is here being that if I want it to just deploy in the background and it's required, I can choose my group, I want it required. If I want to make it available, uh, that means 
it will be available for selection by the user within the company portal or if I've already installed it I can add a group here that I want to then uninstall that application if, if it's previously been deployed okay so they're the options you get um, once it's deployed um, you will have you have the options to under the, each individual application to to look at the monitoring there as well so you've got the user install status or the device status okay now if I go and show you uh, let's select Windows have a look at the Windows I've got some Win32 applications uh, and I've got a Microsoft Store for Business application uh, let's pick the company portal one um, a look at the properties you can see these are imported properties from the uh, business store the uh, Windows Business Store and again you'd follow the same process so you'd sync it into Intune you select your groups that you want to deploy to or uninstall to okay now um, a key uh, setup that you'll need to do prior <clears throat> to syncing these is um, connect to the individual stores uh, be it uh, the business store, the um, store for business for Windows, be it the Apple store uh, or Android. Now, with um, sorry, wrong option. If I go into devices um, and then um, Android, select Android and then Android enrollment, you'll see there's an option here, prerequisites. Okay, so if you hit that, there's some settings you need to uh, create here so you'll need a, an account um, and you'll go through a wizard so you hit the agree uh, for permissions and then you'll go through a wizard when you hit the launch Google to connect now um, once you've set that up effectively what you're doing is giving permissions for those applications to be synchronized back to Intune and the benefit of that it really is that you're then being able to manage the allocation of those those applications from just within your endpoint manager admin center okay a similar story really happens when um, when you want to connect uh, iOS or iPad apps um, and you hit the iPad enrollment you'll need to connect with your uh, Apple business manager to the Apple store there's a number of things you need to do, follow in order to get that set up I'm not going to I'm not going to create it here um, or, or go through it here we'll do that in a different video but essentially again you're synchronizing to the Apple Store and then you're importing and synchronizing those applications for de for deployment now from a Windows perspective um, you to connect to the store for business you go into tenant administration connectors and tokens and then it's here that you act you'd activate um, create the activation hit the enable um, and then you go into the open the business store so I've got mine open here so you go in the the Microsoft store for business and within here um, you can then go and search for an application manage those applications and make them available there are a few settings you need to set up initially um, before you can actually connect so the purpose really of of this store for business and going through this process is that you are connecting this and making it available in the same way you are for the other platforms uh, with Intune. Um, if I go into dist distribute for example you will need to add a management tool for example you've got the Intune and Intune enrollment here and then you'll set them to activate okay um, to actually see the applications you've imported you go to manage um, manage applications and these are the list of applications that you've uh, you've made available and you're going to synchronize um, and if you wanted to um, uh, find another one you'd literally go into the store and um, do a search I'm going to go across the top here just put in Microsoft and then so for example it may be that you want to do I don't know to do list for example so you select that app it's free so you've got unlimited licenses available um, you select the the license type um, and then you would um, hit the install button okay um, when you go back to your go back to manage 
um, and then the manage apps it will ap appear in your list okay or will eventually appear in your list and they are um, then you're not quite made them available for your users yet but you've added them to your your private uh, store for business all right then what you want to do is go back into your uh, endpoint manager admin center go back into tenant administration connectors and tokens and then where you've got the Microsoft store for business at the top there you hit the sync button and the sync is then gonna take that selection of applications you've you've added and sync the synchronize them into uh, your apps list okay and make them available for for deployment so that's um, you know a quick whiz through um, how the platform types and how you uh, you need to import those applications this doesn't go into the detail of the different types if you want to do a, um, a add a Windows app Win32 application for example I'll go through that um, you'll uh, pick a Windows app 32 um, and this is basically where you've got you know a custom in-house Win32 application or it's uh, you know an application that you've downloaded so 7-zip for example is a zip application that I've uh, got the source code for and what I'm gonna what I can do then is kind of wrap that up um, I can select uh, an Intune, uh, uh, an Intune package for it, um, and then import that into um, import that into the store, uh, into my options for applications. Now I'm not going to kind of go through the whole process because that can be uh, take some time, but um, what I will show you is the settings that I've got for one already. Um, so if I look at the properties for 7-zip for example you know I've got the versions in there um, and I've imported the actual source code but there are also some detection rules uh, that you will need to set up and these are specific to the application so you may need to go to the website and find out what they are first um, and also you've got the install and uninstall commands these are the critical uh, critical ones really and will determine once they're deployed to your devices how exactly they 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 are installed so these are uh, quite important you'll need that information before you can deploy uh, to your devices so it's a bit more involved um, but at least you've got the capability to do that okay um, so um, you've got that let's have a look at um, a different type of application um, if you just want to do the the standard Microsoft 365 app um, you can do that you can hit the under the title there um, select Windows 10 and you'll get the options okay so if I select that automatically you get because um, it's integrated with Microsoft and Intune the, the details are already kind of populated for you so um, in essence what you need to do is literally select a category um, then go into configure the app suite so you've got a selection of applications under 365 um, and what you can do is actually select which ones you want to uh, make available so I've got quite a few there but um, you might only want one you might only want Excel for example and also you might only want it available for uh, s specific groups you might want a, a group a number of the devices for one group um, and a number of a number of the applications for another group now you need to you can pick the architecture that you're targeting um, and there are various other options here as well so for example use shared activation which is one of the options that Microsoft licenses against now so you might want to switch that on okay that's quite a, a, an important one I suppose because you know that's one of the the go-to application suites that most people are going to use it's part of the pro productivity suite and it's probably uh, might be your first port of call for deployment of your applications it might be your only port of call for your applications but um, there are various different ways that you can um, uh, you can do this um, I've just noticed so I've got my wallpaper setup app here for example 
this is um, you know a Microsoft, this is a, a, a basically a, an application which is wrapped up into an Intune uh, wrapper package and what this will do is effectively deploy um, some basic coding which will be deployed down to the devices and will run on the devices and set the wallpaper um, for users uh, on their Windows 10 devices. So there are various different ways. I mean, that's just one example of Win32 app. Okay. Right. That's a quick uh, whiz through the different options, some of the options available. It's obviously not all of them, as I mentioned, um, but hopefully that gives you a flavor for the types of things you might do uh, or may want to do. Go ahead and look at the Microsoft Store. Worth doing a bit of planning first. Um, definitely, definitely plan ahead. Um, but hopefully that gives you an insight. Okay, thanks very much. Come and see us again and uh, maybe step onto the next next video. Thanks very much.